Lots of ships use the harbor at the big station by the sea, where passenger ships have spotless paint and shining brass. Other ships, though smaller and dirtier, are important too. They take coal, machinery, and other things abroad, and bring back meat, timber, and things we need. Fishing boats also come here. There are no to fish on the quay, and some of it is sent to the shops in town, while the rest goes on a special train to places far away. The railwaymen call this train the Flying Kipper. driver said, We'll be at hell tomorrow and rain. Now don't tell Gordon, but I think they've pulled a kipper nicely. The fat control will let us pull the express. Hurrah! That will be lovely. He was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of fish. The last door banged. The guard showed his green lamp, and Henry started off. But his wheels slipped on the icy rail. Come on, come on! Don't be silly, don't be silly! Come on! The van shuddering groaned. Truck, trink, truck, trink! All right, all right! That is better, that is better! And the train began to gather speed. Thick clouds of smoke and steam poured from Henry's funnel into the coal there, and when his fireman put on more coal, the light shone brightly on the snow around. Henry went faster and faster. Hurry, hurry, hurry! They whooshed under bridges and clattered through stations. They were going well. The light grew better, and a yellow signal appeared ahead. Henry thought, Distance signal up. That means caution. Henry's driver shut off steam and prepared to stop. But the home signal was down. And so he said, All clear, Henry. Away we go. They couldn't know the points from the main line to the siding were frozen, and the signal had been set at danger. A false snow had forced it down. A goods train waited in the siding to let the kipper pass. The driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the brake van. The guard pulled out his watch and said, Hmm. You know the kippers do, the fireman said. Who cares about the flying kipper? This is good cocoa. The driver got up and said, Come on, fireman. Back to her engine. They got out just in time. <laughs> Henry
Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash, but Henry laid there dazed and surprised. The fat controller came to see him. Well, Henry, what have to say for yourself, hmm? Oh, dear, sir. The signal was down, sir. Honestly, it was. Honestly. <laughs> Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. I should know caused the accident. I'm sending you a crew. A fine place for sick engines. They'll give you a new shape out of a larger firebox. And then you'll feel like a different engine and won't need special coal anymore. Now, won't that be nice? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Henry liked being a crew, but he was glad to come home. A crowd of people waited to see him arrive in his new shape. He looked so splendid and strong that they gave him three cheers. Thank you very much, he whistled happily. I'm sorry to say, but a lot of little kids are often late to school because they wait to see Henry go by. They often see him pulling the express, and he does it so well that Gordon is jealous. But that's another story.